Hi guys, this is Patricia from Yarny Cat Crochet and this is an FO video and a little bit of chit chat and it's going to be really short. Um, today is um, Thunder Over Louisville, which if you don't live in the southern Indiana, Kentucky, northern Kentucky area, um, it's where we have um, the start of the Kentucky Derby Festival because pretty soon it's going to be the Derby, uh, first Saturday in May. And after the Derby, sorry, I'm getting hair in my face. I'm a hot mess because I've been cooking. Um, after the Derby, we get to plant our flowers and everything. It's planting season, so that's really exciting. Um, uh, I've also got a, um, it's not a happy mail opening because I've opened this a long time ago. I just forgot to mention it on the channel and I've taken a bit of a uh, mental health sabbatical. <laughs> Um, I'm sure a lot of us have been taking them and needing them. I mean, everything has just gone upside down and loopy over here. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just every so often you just, you just wonder why you're doing what you're doing. Is it even making a difference? Um, you know, I'm sure every one of you with a channel has been through it. And those of you without a channel know anyway what dealing with life is like so you know but anyway so i took a break um not sure um if i'm gonna have a lot of stuff to show i don't want to get on here if i don't have anything to show and waste your all's time time's precious especially time with your family which is what we're having today and so to get back to it the kentucky derby festival is the beginning of the festivals up until the derby so they start out with Thunder Over Louisville, and that's exactly what it, uh, in the title, it, very loud thunderous fireworks, <laughs> loud. I can hear them. I live about 16 miles, but I'm downriver, so the sound carries downriver, and the things you could hear is really surprising, but we can hear the end of the fireworks show, and sometimes if the fireworks are loud enough, like in the middle of it, because they're there. It's the biggest fireworks show, um, arguably the biggest one. <laughs> and um, uh, if not, at least in the United States, it is. Um, it is just huge and people come from all over the place. And it starts at about three o'clock with um, all kinds of awesome uh, World War II, um, just the, uh, the stealth bomber, which is really cool. It looks like a giant bat in the sky. It's just really neat. Um, it's hard to catch that one, you know, it goes really fast. <laughs> if it weren't for cameras, we probably wouldn't even get to see it. But um, it's really loud. Uh, well, it's not unless you hear it, you know, whoosh, right past you. Um, it's, it's known for being stealthy that they, they, don't even know, you know, it's flying over them. But anyway, it's a bunch of military planes, some Coast Guard planes, which my brother, um, he uh, served in the Coast Guard and um, uh, retired, but he works in the offices now as a, as a civilian. So I love they, they do water rescues um, as a demonstration on the river. And um, we have a bunch of bridges and a couple of new bridges and um, we light up one of them with fireworks. We just like blow it up with fireworks. And there's just like a fireworks waterfall that comes down and it's just, I mean, it's amazing. And there's thousands of booths and food and people from all over the world. I'm, I'm not kidding. All over the world come to see it. So it's an exciting day, but because that I can't really get down to the river anymore, especially in a crowd full of people. And then the, the bathrooms are like eight miles long to get there and they have tons of them. They're called thunder pots, <laughs> which are porta potties, <laughs> but they call them thunder pots. And I think that's hilarious, but they're just way too many people for somebody with a disability to try and enjoy the day and get to a facility. So we're having a grill out at my house and uh, I made some deviled eggs and um, um, fixing to, I call it peeling the corn, but it's taking the, the, the hair off of it. And, um, uh, and then 
you, well, you peel down the, the leaves, you don't take them off. And then you take the, the sit, corn silk off of it and then you pull them all back up and then you twist it and you take one of the leaves and you tie the top so it ties the corn in there and it kind of like steam grills it, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And then we uh, turn it into Mexican corn. We put um, a Mexican street corn. We put, you know, all the stuff you put on Mexican street corn. It's really, really good. And we've got, I've got pork chops marinating in a bourbon um, honey glaze. And um, we've got uh, fancy hamburgers <laughs> and, uh, you know, all the fixings for that. And um, so, I mean, it's going to be really neat. And um, so that's what, we're, oh, and then we're going to watch it on TV because we have a huge big screen TV and we can watch the fireworks. We've been there several years. My son has experienced it several years, so we really don't have to be there, but we can watch what they did on TV and see the planes better. The planes are my favorite part. But anyway, that's not what you're all here for. I'm five minutes in. Everybody's probably already clicked out now, but those of y'all that stay, uh, a while back ago, at least a month, I told my mom I wanted the mermaid hooks that were on Amazon, crochet hooks. And um, I think Copay is, C-O-P-A-Y is the name of the brand. But, um, well, it comes, I don't know if you can see, it comes in this little Ziploc bag, and it's all the sizes. I think up to six and a half. I could be wrong. I'll look at the biggest one and tell you real quick. Um, I just wanted to review these for you because you might want some. And I'm trying to see what this says. The light's not really really good. yeah six and a half is the biggest one but these are so comfortable uh they say that they're rubber it feels more like polymer clay to me but maybe polymer is rubber i don't know but um i could tell that they've laid these down like in a because i made these so i know they've laid this down in a strip and then uh rolled it up onto here and um but anyway it is so cool i don't know if you can see the colors very well but um and it's really super neat and i know they baked them because if you buy um susan bates or uh, boy boy b-o-y-e hooks they um they get a glitter to the metal um because i made mine in the oven it, there's a lots of videos you can get on and find out how to make different really pretty you can use tiny clay cookie cutters and make hearts or whatever teddy bears whatever you want on them these ones are mermaids <laughs> but anyway um i've been wanting them ever since i saw them and my mom got them for me but anyway you lay them in the oven on a cookie sheet on parchment paper and you bake them at 200 or something i mean there's a video don't listen to me and um when you come out they'll be really um don't touch the metal until it's good and cool, but they'll be really pretty glittery, sort of. So you can tell if one of the hooks have been baked in the oven. And it doesn't hurt them. I, you guys have seen before, I may show them again at a later date, the orange ones that I have, because uh, orange is my favorite color. But I really do like mermaids, and, and I saw these, and my mom got them for me. So it's a complete set, and they are so smooth. I had no trouble crocheting with them. Um, it didn't get hooked up. It just, it flows, uh, for a set of hooks that, um, they probably mass produce and, and it's not anything special on a stick except for to me because it's mermaids and I really loved it. Um, you know, it's, it's a good, a good deal. I believe they were, I don't know how much she paid for them, but I believe they were listed as $14.99. So it's a, a great deal it was on Amazon. I'm not sponsored by Amazon. Um, you know, I'm not saying go to Amazon. You can get your hooks anywhere you want. But if you go to Amazon, um, I I have no links or anything for discounts. I just know that's where they were from. And um, they are really good. So if you've been looking at these or any other design in this particular brand, which is Copay, I think they're worth it. I think they're really worth it. So anyway, thank you, Mom. She's not going to watch this because I told her, I, and I even put in the title, Hi, Mom. So if you're wondering, that's so she won't watch this video because with these crochet hooks that she gave me, and, and I'd like to say that too, you never know when you give somebody a gift what um, 
what they may do with it. Like if you teach a little kid to crochet, they may grow up and, um, you know, do wonderful things. Like, well, Jonah Hands, he teach, he taught, sorry, he taught himself how to crochet off of YouTube and he is saving uh, the place where he was born and, and um, helping those children have a better life. So, I mean, you just never know. My mom gave me a gift and I'm making things with it. And um, um, you could do the same thing. You could pass on your joy in your little corner of the world, like I always say. And um, so you never know what a gift, what the ripple effect will be, if you will. <laughs> But anyway, so I made this and I hope you guys like it because I love it so much. <laughs> it is a, um, it's a, like a, a messenger bag. I don't know if you can see, um, it's a little floppy because there's nothing in it, but I'm going to hold it up and you see how the, the pattern went. It, it's not, it's just the yarn. <laughs> All I did was crochet, single crochet. I have not done anything special. I didn't follow a pattern. This is just what this yarn does. I always say it's the yarn. It's not the person, it's the yarn. As long as you know how to single crochet or double crochet, whatever that yarn, if it's special, it's gonna do something special. And it just, that's what it did. Isn't that awesome? Now this is a little different because when I got to here, I was flipping it going back and forth. Here is just in the round. So it made this pattern. Um, Cause once I made the bottom, I just kept going around and around and around and it just, it just made that that pattern but when I got to here I I was just making the flap so I wasn't going around I was just going back and forth flipping it you know turning it and crocheting the other way so the pattern's a bit different on the flap but that's okay and see the really pretty I don't know if you can because the shadow is getting it a really pretty rose button that I put on there and I crocheted a little loop to the flap so that you could you know my mom could button it. And then this, this, um, handle, I don't know if y'all can see, but it has, um, reflective tape in it. It's that lion brand, uh, yarn that has the reflective, um, I wish I had the, the strap for that. I don't, but anyway, it was that reflective yarn, um, that you could get from lion brand and it's the, uh, steel gray, which there's gray in the purse. These, these, lines are gray and then it's around here so see my mom gets on the transit bus um when she's not being driven wherever it is that she wants to go she gets on the transit bus and i was thinking that you know a little reflective would be good because you know she's walking to the bus stop or home from the bus stop so it's got reflective around the um the purse here and on the strap, and this is a crossbody. I made it big enough for crossbody, but I hope everybody likes that. I love it so much. It turned out it is the, um, I saved that paper. Ah, darn it. Sorry, I didn't mean to get up close to personal. It is the Big Twist um, Anti-Pilling Living. Big Twist Living. That I think, where do we get the Big Twist? I think that's from Joann's, yep. And it's that that purple color. Oh, let me tell you what the color was. So that in case you want that same, same design. Um, sorry. It, oh, community. It's the community. It's up there on the purple part in there somewhere. <laughs> um, I'm not really organized, but I'm organized enough to um, try and keep it, you know, but you can tell. You can just look up there and tell that it's not organized. Not by a long shot. It's somewhat organized. I know where it is. I know where everything is. <laughs> but anyway. Um, so that's my finished object. Um, I hope that you all really liked it. It's my mom's Mother's Day present. I may get something else made. I don't know with my son's graduation. And um, Hibbs moving and... Uh, all the stuff that's coming up. I don't know if I'll have time to get another thing. And, and I've been, like I said, a little bit out of it, taking a break because I just can't hardly process some things. Um, I needed a break, so I feel better. Sorry that I'm doing this on screen, but I don't want to get all bent up 
Okay. So, um, going forward, um, I, I want to get a, a little bit back to like the start of what I wanted to do with my channel, which is I, I wanted to, um, hold on. I'm going to put this down. Uh, I wanted to, um, show the love of Jesus and, um, crochet basically. <laughs> I wanted my channel to mean something and, um, I kind of got away from that. Um, I just got busy and didn't do things like, um, read this, read a scripture at the end of my, I feel like, you know, I do what I do. And then at the end, if everybody wanted to click out or if people wanted to stay, I would just, I'd read the scripture and, uh, maybe, maybe, um, maybe talk about it or maybe just read the scripture to you. Um, and, uh, and I stopped doing that and, um, and I, f I feel like I got disconnected and, um, wondering why I even, um, having a channel and even doing anything, you know, I got to that point and, um, plus I've been having some health issues. Um, my liver, um, I have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which part of it is because of my weight, which I've lost. You probably can't tell, but, um, I've lost quite a bit of weight, uh, started out about 240 and, um, got down to like 226 and now, um, uh, to, uh, well, I was 213, but we had some out to eat and I'm 216, <laughs> but you know, it's going down really quick, uh, quicker than what I thought it would. My doctor put me on some medicine that's helping, but, um, so all my clothes are just really super baggy on me. I've lost quite a bit and, um, uh, that's nice. It's helping me get around a little bit more, but, uh, with my health issues already and then adding that and, um, with, you know, the state of the world today. Um, and then my son moving and, uh, to a different country. <laughs> it, uh, he hasn't yet, but he's going to, and, um, and being an empty nester for the first time, that's just, and I just turned 50 this year. I mean, it's just a lot of excuses and no real good reason why I'm not doing what I should be doing, which is showing my craft and, um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> flowers there's things are blooming um and sharing the love of Jesus I feel like that that's my mission and um and I can do both and and serve both spectrums of my um viewers uh by by having both sections and then letting you know when I'm going to start talking scripture and then you guys, if you don't want to hear it, you can click out and there's no judgment for judgment free zone here. Um, uh, you know, it'd be your choice of whether you listened or not. So, I mean, I'm not going to apologize for being a Christian to nobody. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, if you get into the comments and be nasty, I'll just, I'll just boot you out and, um, pray for you. <laughs> But, um, uh, I don't shove my religion down anybody's throat and, uh, and the same as I don't want anybody to do it to me. You know, there's a lot of religions out there whatever you believe in is what you believe in. And I respect you, I love you and, um, you know, all prayers, thoughts, good vibes, whatever it is that you do, I send your way. So anyway, this is the part where I'm going to talk about one scripture. So, um, if you just came for the finished object and, uh, the yarn and the crochet hooks to see those, then God bless you. Or I'm sorry, have a good day <laughs> and, um, uh, and click out and, and we'll see you in the next video. Please come back because I enjoy each and every one of you regardless of your beliefs. And, um, so anyway, uh, the best scripture, I don't have my box out. Um, I have a favorite scripture, which I'll try to get and read to you all the next time. My very favorite is scripture. I don't know the, 
but um, the chapter and verse numbers by heart, but I do know that scripture. And it is, um, for I have planted Apollos watered, but God giveth the increase. For neither, uh, I think it goes for either, for neither am I anything or Apollos anything, but God giveth the increase. That's the basic gist of it. In other words, it doesn't matter what I do or what Apollo does, your neighbor, whoever. It's God who makes the difference and um, he can make a difference through you by you spreading your craft, spreading your joy, spreading your just your time to somebody else. That's uh, God showing his love through you to other people. And I know a lot of people who do it whether they realize they're doing it or not. So, um, you know, that scripture is my favorite. But the best scripture, in my opinion, in the whole Bible, and I'll try to get you the numbers for that one by next video. But um, the best scripture in the whole Bible, the one that that you need the most, um, is John 3.16. It is, the I think, the most important. I mean, they're all important. But I think that scripture is the most important because it said, For God so loveth the world. <laughs> Sorry. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the King James Version. And it just simply means if you don't understand, it just means that if you believe in him, you trust in him, you put your faith in him, even though you don't may not see it immediately, um, you're going to make it through. And you'll be with him in heaven when all this is over. So that gives me great strength and great joy. It doesn't look like it because I'm crying, but it's because it's so beautiful. And I'm one of those people that cry at beautiful things. <laughs> when somebody gives me a gift or um, somebody just be extraordinary and, um, you know, the father that takes care of their family, the mother that takes care of their family, um, the person who is neither a mother or father, but takes care of the people around them or takes care of the animals around them. Um, when I see stuff like that, I cry. <laughs> I just cry. I'll cry at a drop of a hat, <laughs> but it's happy tears. And this one is just that scripture. It's really hard to read that one without crying <laughs> for me. So anyway, I hope I didn't drive some people away. I don't have that many mis subscribers anyway. <laughs> I'm not even at 600 yet. Um, been doing it for almost two years. And, but the, you know, I lost sight of the reason why I was doing it. And I think that too just depleted my energy of doing anything. And I lost sight of, of why that I believe we're here. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to try to get back to that. But also um, to show yarn, just like I always do, finished objects. Uh, I think I'm going to incorporate some crafts. I really love what my friend Sam um, at Memphis makes. Uh, she does like diamond paintings and other things in her, in her um, channel. And more tutorials like my friend Becca does uh, from Becca at Mary Maker. Um, she does tutorials and more reviews like my friend Erin from Crafting Kitty um, 101. Uh, gosh, there's just so many that I can name. Neva, who does crochet alongs um, from... Um, Manic Mama's Musings, um, all those channels, please go look them up. And if I watch your channel and I haven't named your channel, oh, like um, My Fairy Treasures, Angie Bell. All those people, they're so beautiful. And uh, Angie, she does um, Dollar Tree hauls and, um, and makeup reviews, like uh, some makeup tips for if you're over 50. I'm over 50. Uh, skincare stuff. So, um, just I draw uh, 
so much wealth from each each one of those channels that I mentioned, all the channels that I watched that that I haven't mentioned. Um, uh, it's just because there's not enough time in the world. I'm subscribed to like over 2,000 people. I could tell you some things. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I hope that everybody got to this point in the video. And, um, and I hope that the scriptures that I shared uh, helped you out a little bit and um uh remember john three sixteen. that's a really good one and um i will try to incorporate not shove it down your throat give you time to click out but i will try to incorporate more of that and more um different art styles and just just have a good time maybe some cooking tips um I'm not a chef. I'm not a great cook at all. Actually, I'm a very bad cook, but there's some tips I've learned along the way that's helped me, and I could pass some of those along too. So, you know, just some of that stuff with no pressure because um, whenever I make a big deal out of something I'm going to do and then I can't do it, it tears me apart because I my word is my bond. I, if I give my word on something and then I end up can't doing it, it tears me to shreds. <laughs> I like to keep my promises. And that chickpea that I made a while back ago, um, I got really depressed because I thought it was the first one. It wasn't. And, um, and then, and then I just lost the will to even want to do the tutorial for it. And, um, and if I did it, it would just tear me up. I just, I don't even want to do it. So, um, there won't be a tutorial for that. And I apologize. And, um, I promise not to promise <laughs> because, um, I want you all to believe the words that come out of my mouth. So, um, but anyway, I'm in such a better space now and I'm getting healthier and, um, we're going to have an awesome family day today. And so I got to get off here and get back to doing it. That's why I'm a hot mess. <laughs> I've been cooking, I've been boiling eggs and making deviled eggs and, um, you know, arm deep and stuff. So, uh, I'm not the best look today, <laughs> but I will see you all in the next video. Please remember to spread your craft, spread your passion, spread your joy. And if you don't have any more time as you're walking past somebody down the street, give them your best, um, beautiful smile and let them, you know, know in that way that you care and you never know how that can change and turn somebody's day around. And um, be a little joy bomb in your corner of the world and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.